and we'll be getting into our first game and today we will be following Koma through his qualifier run since I'm not really a big name person I'm not gonna try and like jump to different people's games I'm just gonna follow him and if he loses then I will follow whoever beats him but in the bottom right side we have our light pink Terran player, Harry Young. And in the bottom left, the purple Terran, flip side tactics, Coma. I really wish they would have picked some slightly different colors, but you know, it's okay. I understand. And so, it'll be interesting to see how they're going to play this map, considering proxies and stuff aren't very likely with the fact that it's a four player map. But, we will see. We already have a little bit of a variance here with Harry Young going gas first and Coma starting with the barracks first instead of a gas first. And then his gas immediately afterwards, so I expect a, re a Reaper expand or something of that nature coming from Coma. Um, I would imagine he's probably just going to play as standard as possible. He's going to go try and find his opponent now. While Harry Young is going to also send out a scout, but it looks like Coma's actually going to scout him last, unless he goes up here and then cross map. So we're going to follow this SCV as it makes its way across the map. And I do believe that this will give Harry Young a little bit of an advantage, since he did go gas first. We'll see what he wants to use that gas on, as he's got both of his gas refineries going already, as to where Coma's still only on one. So there is a Reaper coming out. This SCV is going to come in and see that there's pretty much just a standard opening coming out for Coma here. And it looks like he's about to put down a command center, which will be missed by the other SCV. And there it is. So he's going to come in, scout, make sure there's nothing hidden up in the top right. While he's making his factory, and he's going to wall off the front before the SCV finds out. But the Reaper should be able to get in and get some scouting done pretty well. He's actually going to follow up with a Marine. This SCV should go down, as it does. Now the Reaper is just chilling. Okay, he did notice. So now he knows that Harry Young did spawn in the bottom right corner, which is pretty important. We have a Hellion and a Reaper coming out, so it looks like we're going to have some Hellion Reaper aggression coming from Harry Young. Um, let's see, a little good micro for both players. Coma's actually going to win this battle. But he has to be careful because this Reaper and Hellion are about to pop out. And I don't know how much health this Reaper's going to have whenever it gets over here. There's also a Starport almost halfway done for Harry Young. Okay, he sees the Hellion now. Uh, this should be the end of this Reaper. It should die here without seeing anything. And it does go down. So we're going to go look over here. The factory is almost done. And there's a reactor on the way. And now the Starport. But I think this... Command Center is not going to be able to be mined from for quite some time, seeing as, you know, there's going to be a Hellion and a Reaper or two out here. The next Hellion is rallied across as well. Uh, this is just kind of annoying. It's not really going to do too much because he's not going to be able to break this ramp with this little army. But he is following it up with a Cloak Banshee and taking a look. Um, there's no engineering base, so there won't be any turrets. The real question is going to be what he does with the starport. If he gets anything on it, tech lab related, or if he starts a viking or something, that would be really good for him right now. He's going to move down the ramp and get rid of these uh, pesky units. He does save that hellion, just barely two health left on that thing. The reaper is going to run home and heal up before it comes back to the fight. So Coma's now going to start mining on his natural, which is a huge lead because Harry Young just now started his second command center. He gets the scan and he sees the tech lab researching. It should click right now that he's going up against Cloak Banshee. There is a turret coming down in the main and one just now starting in the natural. So these Banshees probably won't do a whole lot and this attack won't be able to do a whole lot either as it's outnumbered. Three Hellions to three Hellions and then there's a handful of Marines for Coma though. Now, he did get a really good shot there as that Hellion, as his three Hellions hit both of those Hellions. And this Banshee's gonna fly in and be really sad to find that it won't be able to do too much to the mineral line, but it will be able to harass the production. He gets one SCV, but you don't really want to go Cloak Banshee for one SCV. 
I mean, he does force out the turrets and everything, but the turrets and the SUV for that, I don't think that's worth it. He's probably going to get a second... Okay, he does get a second SCV. He is following that up with a Raven. I like this a little bit. It'll help keep you a little bit safer if your opponent followed up with a Banshee or anything. But obviously that's not going to happen as there's nothing on Coma's starport. Second Viking was made. These Hellions are going to go poke across the map. Let's take a look at the worker count here. Coma does have a 9 worker supply lead. Now up to 10. So if uh, this goes on... For too long, he's definitely going to be out mining here, young. So he should have more to work with here. Oh, uh, these hellions. Okay, he lost one, but he did see at least one tank and probably saw the other one sieging. So he should know pretty much where he's at as far as army-wise. It'll be interesting to see what he opts to do from here as he starts his first medevac. Still nothing on his starport. I think that's interesting. No upgrade started um, for either player. There are two tech labs going on to the barracks for Harry Young. I can only imagine that's going to be for stim and combat shields. Let's see if he uh, does anything. Okay, so stim's on the way. And then maybe combat shields. He has the, okay, yeah, there it is. Alright, so we have a marine drop going into the main. And looking up here, it's dark. He doesn't even have any vision up here. It's going to take this army quite some time, and the Viking's out of position. If he just goes right now, he should be able to get quite a few SCVs with this. We will see how this goes for him. He has a couple more units. Oh, he has a tank coming as well. That'll be pretty interesting. If he distracts them up here, and pulls everything up here, and he sends the tank in the natural, that'll do quite a bit of damage to the mineral line. Losing a couple SCVs, no reaction here. He loses three before he starts pulling them. Now he's probably going to lose a net supply depot or two. And I think this will actually supply cap him for a second. Now the army is coming up here. And neither player has stem, so he's just going to pick up the marines and get out. Oh, he left two of them for no reason. Rip the dream. Alright, so here's the tank. He's going to land it, and he's probably going to kill off these hellions. He gets one of them. He's going to leave the other one alone for now. Oh, nope. Oh. Okay, the hellion almost ran to its own death, but it didn't. The medevac is flying back in. It's probably going to get a couple more SCVs. One, two, three, maybe. Oh, man, no reaction. He's losing quite a bit here. What is he doing? Let's take a look at his vision. Um, I don't know what he was doing. He just lost that whole mineral line, pretty much. 17 workers killed here for Coma. Alright, so he's got to drop on the other side of the map. He's going to have to do a lot to make up for the damage that he just took. He's got the Raven and the Viking coming in as well. Let's take a look at Coma's defenses. There are two tanks already sieged and a third one that could siege up. I don't really see this drop being able to do a whole hell of a lot, to be honest with you. So these tanks are sieging up, but they're not within range to hit anything. This Raven might fly in and put a turret down back here, but that'll be in range of the tanks. As you can see, this four tank concave right here and the third base being established by Coma. He has so put himself so far ahead in this game. Coma getting more SCVs, but we have Harry Young attacking at the front over here. SCVs were pulled into the fight, and I think he's going to lose everything here. He's just going to lose the other rest of his tanks, and if he loses... Oh, why would... No. GG. And Coma takes game number one.